I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Yo, people, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. It's Wolf. Jake all just apologized for dissing. <laughs> for dissing <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, yo, I don't know what the heck is up with 2024, but officially, I'm calling it right here. Kendrick, you won this, you won this battle, you, know? you won this beef, because you dissed the dude on a feature. You dissed him, him and Drake, but he was the first to respond. And right now, yo, the dude, word on the street, he apologizing. For that this let's check it out like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and um leave some likes comments share the video it's full let's get this now, but before i do it i just want to talk to y'all for a second this song right here is it's probably my favorite shit i ever did but i want to tell y'all a story behind the song that i just had not told before and i want to tell y'all this right now when i made this song right here Prior to this song and the making of this album right here, I was in a cloudy, like dark place, right? Meaning like, I was doing shit, I had talent, I had belief in myself, I had motion, but at the same time, I also had fear. I had yeah. fear that maybe I wouldn't get to where I wanted to go. And so that fear had me moving in an unusual way, right? It had me moving in a way that I damn near was thinking about and listening to people's expectations of me and then responding off of that, right? And uh, okay. Around the time I made the song, I had just more of a spiritual alignment. I got more in tune with God, like for the great, for the for the first time in my life, and the most clearest time in my life, I got in tune. And it was not a switch. Not that, that's a wonderful thing. I appreciate that and I respect that. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, all of this aside, yeah, I understand that. <laughs> and. A lot of people are going to be happy for you, but a lot of people are going to be clowning you, talking about you soft, and talking about, yeah, you were not made for this. But let's continue. It's not just a switch that I clicked, but it, it did take work. And a song like this is the result of that work. Only because I was so clear when I was making this song and making this album was I able to do this. Now, why am I saying all of that? Because yeah. all of the goofy type shit that I look back on that I was doing before that, Luckily, I look at the last 10 years of my life and I go, damn, like, my life been peaceful, my life been blessed, I've been, I've been happy, I've been, I've been moving on my own accord, off my own desires, my own wants. Now, why am I saying all of that? All of that shit led me up until this point, 10 years later after this song, I'm here, here I am. I've been, I've been just chasing my shit, you know what I mean? Like, like following my dream and just trying to like head to the fall off in the way that I wanted to do it. And so I put out this project on Friday called Might Delete Later. I don't know how many people done check it out. <laughs> I haven't checked that out yet. And right now, yo, 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 I don't know what they expect because the only song I checked out was the response to 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 to, to Kendrick, the, the seven minute drill. That's the only thing I checked out of it. And I told you guys I will bring the, the rest later. But yo, let's let's continue. And I swear to God, I'm so proud of that project because I know one is just a lead up. It's just an EP that leads me up to this thing that I've been working on for a long time. And I know the work it took to get to a certain type of skill level. And I love this shit. So I, that shit means a lot to me, right? So I'm so proud of that project. Except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? Oh, I know damn. this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah, I don't do that. But I got to keep it on. Yo, listen to, listen to him, bro. Listen to him. Yo, yo, yo. In this game, you got to have that hunger. You got to, you got to be that beast. You got to be that, <sighs> yo. <sighs> I'm telling you, that means it's not for you, bro. That means it's not for you. You can, you you got to just you, you got to just pivot, because yo, you don't know what comes with this. You don't know what comes with this. You remember Mac Lamore? Of course you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know people remember Mac Lamore, but you remember 
the Grammy situation with Macklemore, right? Right? You remember what he said and what he did and led, led to the whole downfall of his career, right? Right? So right now, this is looking like is it might end up going that route. But Cole is a bigger artist, so he might be able to survive that if in any event. But right now, Red Dog, Yaffa, Yaffa, Yaffa. We know how to... No one expects this to get in real life. If it's a if it's a beef, a rap beef, it should be settled lyrically in a rap song to test who who got the better skill. No one expects you to be on that that murder rap type of time. Those 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 goofy young rappers that be rapping about the real stuff that they did in the streets, literally play by playing outlining how they how they deleted someone from this world no one no one is asking you for that you didn't paint that type of image you paint the image that yeah if anyone comes at you test your skill yeah you would answer back and you rub them out and you would make them not make that mistake again no one's asking for you to go out there hold up a a, a gun to someone's head but yo let's continue right I damn near had a relapse, right? Because. Yo, and I'm a, 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 another thing. I, I always say I don't promote rap. I, I don't promote violence. But I will employ it if someone, if, if, if it's necessary. Yeah. So I understand what he's coming from. If it's that type of time he's on. He, he doesn't want to push that negative message. But no one was was talking to you. no one was looking at you like Cole Cole would be the hardest gangster dude that type of dude da 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 yeah no, no, nobody was looking at you like that <laughs> nobody never expect you for for, for a pro, a promote this gangster image uh, yo okay y'all heard some shit that happened two two three weeks ago however long it was y'all 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 heard that bazooka that was chopped on the motherfucking game right yeah so all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, big boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we, yeah, yeah. We wanted to see some excitement in the game, bro. We, yeah, what you gonna do? Yeah, you better, you better get to get that pen and pad out. You better, yeah. You better get for writing, you better get for checking out the lyrics, them and making sure that yo oh, them them intricate and uh. Okay, let's continue. Text flooded, I couldn't even answer my shit. <laughs> Nigga, it's war time. <laughs> yes, Nigga, yes. Blood. And and I was conflicted because <laughs> Yo, someone shouted out, we still do from the crowd. So you know is is yo know, some of his fans right there. They want to see him test his medal against someone that um, people consider one of the greatest rappers of this generation, alongside him and Drake. And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I've just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? <laughs> so I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. Yeah. Yo, here the dude, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yo. I wonder if you're talking about blood. Like we expect people to freaking go out in the streets and freaking let off shots. I wonder if that's what he conflating or what he making a mistake on this trying to thinking this thing is. Yo, it's better to solve it on a track than to solve it in the streets. That way, you know. Where, 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 where things lie. You know, who have the better skill, who are, are the, the better lyricists among you guys. So right now, J. Cole doing all of this, it's a disappointment to all of his fans that wanted to see him actually prove his skill and his rapping ability against one of the, one of the masters in the industry. I'm telling you, and 
the seem like this people are saying, yeah, he going on set. Kendrick literally won the battle without even freaking making a follow up song to his freaking seven minute drill. Oh yeah, this is this gives this is kind of conflicting for me because if it let's say for instance this isn't really who like that 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 gangster bravado esque like um this tough guy image that well he doesn't really push that type of image but he push the type of image that if you come at him he gonna come at you he gonna bring that the same he gonna match your energy but what if that's not the type of dude that he really is he pr probably prefer his peace his calm and stuff like that well i will uh, i i understand that and i respect that but this is competition bro this is this is this is competition and um that's what the people want to see the, the the competition to see who has a better skill bro we're not talking about blood as in blood in the streets or in people getting hurt in real life we're not talking about that but well, well, well come on come on ah. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this this nigga's fucking. Uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever since a fucking Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? 100% but yo. So, I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it made, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago. When I yo, this is the lamest, goofiest shit you, you did. This is what everyone on the internet gonna say. You think you you had you felt bad when people people like like you were seen like a it's like when he dropped the seven minute drill uh the um two days ago and everyone was hyped for the for the for the for the rap battle the beef he was conflate that uh of people wanted to see real world real world um bad bad events you know real world violence but that's not that, that's 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 where he's taking what the internet says people you you cannot take people on the internet seriously if you weigh too heavily on um, what people on the internet say um about like when it uh comes to harm on someone else it's gonna mess you up it's gonna give you the the like the wrong indications of which direction to go so right now this might be career ending. This, this right here, and um, it's so sad because J Cole is a ta talented rapper. He does got that skill, but people want to see people who are skilled in their own right go against, like, like I said, have a competition against other skilled rappers to see who is a better one, so they can like brag to their friends or, you know. That their favorite rapper is the best on right now. Everyone that's a J Cole fan that had some form of street cred. Yo, I was hyped for this. I was hyped for this. Now they, now they, now they freaking sad, bro. Now they, now they sad. Yo, he didn't have this type of energy when it came to freaking little pump <laughs> and, and and those mumble brothers that talking about how they how they fumble in their bag and all of that stuff. And yes, <laughs> little pump did. They did fumble his bag. Right now, the dude is a meme. All right, yo, he didn't feel like that. He didn't feel like that when it when it was their situation because he didn't have any respect for them. And I and I and I feel like that's the respect aspect that he's coming from. That's the point of view he's taking when he when he um making this. He he doing this apology. I was moving incorrectly, and I pray. That God aligned me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot and take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like... That's off. <laughs> and people not going to respect you in the business no more. Because I'm telling you, haven't you seen how 
the hip hop business go. You got to be, you got to have the attitude of the best. You are the best of the best, and they, someone has to come prove that they better than you. And how do they do that? Lyrically, with the bars, right? That's all. So, for if, 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 if J. Cole uh, come out and uh, say this right now, it just make him look soft. It just make him look like, say, he not really believe that him have the skill to be able to take on a, 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 a Kendrick. Yo, I'm telling you, is it because Kendrick got, got them monsters back, back in him, like Eminem and freaking Dr. Dre? Is it because of that? And, uh, I know that he got connections, but no. Yo. Rap beef, rap battle is between the individual artists involved. No help from either people that they got in their corner. They pens are, are, are going to speak for themselves. They're individual pens. So this, that is what people want to see. Not literal blood. And um, it, I'm telling you, I feel sorry for y'all J. Cole fans. But I really was getting into the the lyricism of how he does his things and he still is a great artist but a lot of people this is gonna be a big stain on his career i'm telling you right here forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then i can get back to my true path because i ain't gonna lie to y'all past two days felt terrible like it let me know how good i've been sleeping for the past 10 years so all of that to say man i want to i want to now well, perform the song sleep. that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with god and the name of the song is called love, love yours i want to do it for you Yo, yo, you go, yo, that's it, that's it, yo. <sighs> Jayco, um, I respect what you came out and did. It takes a big person to apologize. If, if he, from what I heard, he, it's mainly how he feels, not what, not how it might have made Kendrick feel. Because Kendrick was he, in the heat for that battle. Ke Kendrick wanted to go crazy. And right now, we won't even, oh. We won't even be able to get like, like a, a um, no enjoyment out of this competition right here, because dude just forfeited. Yo, I don't know if Drake is gonna come out and say nothing. Drake might not say anything because of this right here. And now people are gonna have um like 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 have Kendrick as some type of Baba Liaga. Yes, that, that the boogeyman, that type of that type of image when it comes to hip hop. And he done got linked with Godzilla. Eminem, yes. Dr. Dre, the doctor, he was freaking, he will freaking uh, give you a lethal injection. <laughs> I'm joking, bro. But hmm, this, this doesn't look good for him. Now, on the other hand, talking as someone, um, I understand him going on his spiritual ish is his path going getting closer to god and stuff like that i respect all of that and i wish all the best for him and this choice is for him to feel his inner peace to to get better with his spirituality and with god so i respect that and i acknowledge that and i wish him all the best so yeah guys like and subscribe to the channel Leave it all in the comments. Have a, a very big discussion. Let me know what you think about the situation. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Itekimasu. Let's get this. It's wolf. It's wolf. Yo, man, yo it's, it's sad though. J. Cole going out sad. Let's, let's listen out for Drake, I'm telling you.